Okay, to install this one on the HD 4600, make sure the Clover is set up correctly. In the patch folder, you should have your original or patch DSDT or SSDT. So if you don't have the patch, uh, if this is your first time you're going to install, make sure all of the original ones are in and also use the original DSDT. Okay, which is this guy. I'm going to drag it in here. So that's the original one. So on the ACPI patch, drivers, UEFI, make sure you have HFS Plus and NTFS. And whatever is needed for you to boot is the KEX. So I put everything in 1013 ACPI battery manager. A HCI if you cannot turn it on in the BIOS, Apple ALC, Fake SMC, Intel Graphic Fixup.kex, this is important, and Lilu.kex. Make sure they're all in the same version. Uh, right now I use uh, 1.2. Also, the Voodoo uh, from Rehab Man. PS2 controller. Make sure you use the newest one too, 1.8.28. Alright, if you have all of these, it should boot. Now the next one you want to do is a config file. So for the config file, if you boot from the beginning for the first time, what I do is all I do is fix the uh, region 1000 new way 8. A million or whatever and this one if you've booted you don't have the patch the SDT you should put this one DSDT AML okay drop OEM put no because you don't have any patch yet SSDT also drop OEMs no because I patched already so I put yes sorted order Put all the original one in here. Also the boot. Right, I'm going to show it later. Uh, audio you don't need right now. USB. Inject yes. Disable driver you must have this one. GUI you can do whatever you want. But important thing is that. Inject and graphics. Intel is yes. And the platform ID for this one. 0A26006 fake ID on the device Intel GFX 0412-8086 so SM BIOS is important you have to choose the right one which is Pro 11.2 make sure trust you put yes in check CAX make sure it's detect and if you want to inject system ID yes make sure these are there then you can boot so this one is Mac OS High Sierra 17A045 Apple came up with the release of version 1.3.1 .1. I downloaded it, the full version so this version is 13.105 no, and I use Mac OS High Sierra Patcher to create an installer High Sierra 1.31. So instead of update it from the app store, I'm going to install over this Mac OS High Sierra. So let's do it. Okay, so this one is HP. M7 J120DX and this is the um, flat drive that have the 13.1 uh, so let's reboot okay so I'm going to reboot this one 4243 we're going to boot from High Sierra 131 but you're going to boot with safe mode and set NVIDIA to VESA and Dark Wake G4 
just to make sure and then don't reboot on panic boot mac os with selected option okay so we're gonna boot in safe mode okay so if you're gonna install fresh you're gonna have to erase the partition but if not So it's already two minutes. So now if you install Fresh, you should use this utility. And from the this utility, you're gonna erase whatever you're gonna install over. And then you're gonna close it. But for me, I'm just gonna install over it. Continue. So I'm gonna install over my Mac OS High Sierra. And this one should take at least 33 minutes. Yep, exactly. Okay, we're gonna come back in 33 minutes. Okay, so I have to reboot. I can set up the uh, iCloud account again. Okay, so after the update, everything seemed to be okay, except the graphic is a little blurry. It's flickering. This one is 13.1 17B48. So I'm pretty sure that the IO USB, the one that we patch, is gone. So this one is the new one. Okay, so all we need to do is to reinstall IO USB family.kex, the one we patched. IO USB, that's all we need. So after the uh, USB is done, now we have the newest version, 10.13.1, and everything's working. Bluetooth, Wi Fi sound battery okay 